live from the Oracle Conference Center in Redwood Shores, California. It's The Cube at the Next Generation Engineered Systems launch event. Brought to you by headline sponsor, Oracle. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Silicon Valley. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the event, extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier with my co-host Dave Vellante, here live in Oracle's headquarters. Mike Jennings, CEO of Secure24 is here on theCUBE. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, thanks for having me. So behind us you can see we've got the big backdrop of Oracle's getting ready for the big announcement. Larry Ellis is going to get on stage for their big you know, X5 generation. We just talked to John Fowler in charge of engineering. What's your take on all this? I mean, you're, you know, you're, you're not, in trenches with the Oracle engineers, but maybe you are, you're on the partnership. What's going on? I mean, what is Oracle all about right now? Are they gonna, are they gonna open up a little bit? Well, you know, uh, certainly what we're seeing from Oracle as a partner uh, is uh, they're you know, making a, a big march towards uh, converged computing. Uh, so software and hardware uh, working together as a, a unified solution. Uh, and uh, you know, as a as a partner in a, a company that uh, hosts a lot of Oracle products, both database as well as applications, um, you know, we're seeing a great benefit from both the supportability and the performance uh, of those uh, merged platforms. Oracle's partnership strategy is pretty clear. I mean, we've been to Oracle Open World now five years with the Cube there, and we've seen the evolution. I mean, it's almost like the lull before the big, you know, energy burst. And was the, you know, five years ago, it was kind of like, okay, the transition was there, and then since then, you've seen a lot of activity. Certainly, their stock price is really at a high level right now. If you look at historically, almost back to the dot-com boom in terms of performance. I mean, it's good to be an Oracle partner. They <laughs> have a good business model. <laughs> um, so we know it's a healthy ecosystem. What change do you guys see that they're tapping into? Why are they being so successful and why is their partnership strategy working? So, you know, um, what we've seen uh, it is over the last five years, it's a good time frame to kind of think about things over, is, you know, with the uh, integration of, of the Sun platform and, and really uh, Oracle moving towards integrating uh, both hardware and software together, what we've seen is, you know, kind of a first wave of uh, big performance boxes. Uh, so things like Exalytics and, and Exadata and so forth, and, and we've leveraged those to deliver some uh, very high performance solutions for our clients. Uh, what we're seeing now with uh, the virtual compute appliance, which we're a new customer of, uh, is, is really a, um, a product that's very targeted at uh, replacing you know, standard x86 environments and Linux environments. And uh, you know, happy to talk to you guys about you know what we've done and kind of the why yeah, we've so gone that did route. Did you do a bake off? Did you compare and contrast versus other vendors? What was the, the process? And sure. So you know, uh, if I look historically over the last few years, uh, we've spent a lot of time uh, kind of building what I would call our own VBlocks environment. So you know, the EMC VMware uh, Cisco partnership uh, that uh, built VBlocks. Um, we, uh, we looked at that product line from a uh, converged product, and uh, unfortunately, when it first came out, uh, it didn't support many of the things that we needed around secure multi-tenancy, uh, the ability to incorporate uh, other components like uh, other servers into the environment. And so we gave them a lot of feedback, uh, and they've been advancing that product. Uh, so in the meantime, we built uh, essentially our own VBlocks environment. So. Uh, uh, we've been a Cisco UCS shop uh, with EMC storage, EMC backup, EMC uh, replication, uh, and then running with um, uh, VMware for our virtualization layer and our automation layer, uh, and then Red Hat as an OS. And um, you know what we saw is we spent a lot of time uh, having to you know spec out all the components uh, for that environment, integrate all those components uh, in in building that out, and so that was typically a multi-month process. And then we had to build all of our own orchestration layer that kind of tied all those components together. And so with the virtual compute appliance, what we love about the product uh, is that we get everything in a box. We get uh, uh, everything that I just described you know, in the VBlocks environment. We get compute, we get storage, we get networking, uh, we get software-defined networking, we get the orchestration layer, we get the Linux uh, OS layer, and we get uh, uh, Oracle virtualization, uh, all in an integrated device that is uh, highly tuned to run Oracle workloads. 
And so we're seeing just a, a great benefit from going from that legacy environment that we would build ourselves uh, to an environment that we can roll into the data center and within two hours of powering the virtual compute appliance up, we can actually start putting test workloads on it and using it as opposed to spending a month building it. So I want to talk a little bit about your business, but before we do, I want to pick sure. up on that. So, you know, there's a lot of religious debates about which type of virtualization, I got VMware, I got KVM or OVM. Uh, what I just heard from you is, um, I get it in a box and it runs Oracle environments just, just fine, I, and, and <laughs> those religious debates will leave elsewhere. I wonder if we could confirm, and I talk about that a little bit. Sure, so, you know, it, obviously you want to use the right product for the right workload, and uh, for an Oracle workload, um, you know, traditionally we've had to put Oracle workloads on physical servers. So customers have, of Secure24 have um, really shied away from putting uh, database servers on virtualization, and they've done that for many reasons. Part of it is cost reason, so uh, Oracle's licensing for the database on a virtualized environment, like a VMware environment, can be very expensive. And so um, we've been running those on physical servers. And so this gives us an opportunity to virtualize the databases and get all the, um, all the benefits of virtualization, uh, all of the reliability, the redundancy, the transport uh, that we can do with it. Uh, and so when we look at kind of that religious debate, um, for anything that's an Oracle workload, we find that running that on Oracle virtualization is the way to go. All right, let's talk about Secure24 a little bit. Sure. Um, talk about your business, kind of how you guys compete in the marketplace, and we'll drill into that a little bit. Sure, so Secure24 is a, a managed service provider and a cloud transformation company. Um, we, we don't do uh, what we would traditionally call lift and shift in the managed services business. Uh, uh -huh. So we don't go into customers and take their equipment. My and, mess for less. <laughs> yeah, the mess for less we don't do. So we really specialize in, in doing that transformation. So when we go into a customer, we look at their environment. Uh, typically, they've still got a lot of physical components in the environment, a lot of legacy components in the environment. Uh, that might be a, you know, HPUX, uh, AIX environments, so forth. And we map them out a plan to take them from physical to virtual, from legacy systems onto open systems uh, as part of that migration uh, into Secure24. And so as a company, uh, we, uh, we serve over 180 clients today. Uh, they're typically uh, large manufacturing uh, clients. Uh, we're running enterprise level applications like the Oracle applications, SAP applications, uh, and uh, many of the Microsoft product stacks. Um, and then we're also running a lot of uh, highly compliant application stacks for state and local government uh, that require a high level of security and compliance as well. Um, Secure24 as a business, uh, we're almost 500 employees, uh, been in business for 14 years and based out of Southfield, Michigan. And uh, we typically compete with the IBMs and, and HP uh, and, and CSC type uh, companies out there in the marketplace. Uh, for that enterprise hosting. So you're not a direct competitor, for instance, of, of Amazon Web Services, but Amazon Web Services has sort of created the whole cloud meme and the theme, and how has Absolutely. that affected your business? How do you, I mean, you don't compete directly with Amazon, but, but how has it changed things for you? Yeah, it's, it's actually been a, a great boon to our business because, you know, as, as, as that cloud message gets out into the marketplace, uh, and CIOs and uh, so forth, you know, really look at what do they want to do long term. You know, they don't want to be in the data center business, they don't want to be in the IT infrastructure business. And so cloud computing as a whole has really lifted all the ships, you know, in, in our industry. And, um, and so we've seen a great benefit from, you know, from the success that Amazon and others have had uh, in the in the public cloud computing space, you of course are in the data center business, and that is your we business. Are. IT is your business. So, um, talk about from the CEO's perspective what you want uh, out of IT. I mean, you're not. A, I presume you're not an all Oracle shop. You've got no. We're you not. Know, you got different needs, and so from your perspective in the corner office, what do you want out of your IT organization? So, from my IT organization, you know, if if you think about uh, you know what we do for a living, you know, we manage uh, over six thousand virtual machines, over ten thousand devices you know, uh, in our data center today. And what we continually strive for and push for is a high level of automation, repeatability, uh, and process. 
And so we look for products that uh, to put into our data center and to manage in our data center that are simple. You know, simplification is, is a great thing. And I think over the years, uh, you know, IT has always been viewed as a very complex um, you know, set of things, you know, everything from deployment to management to monitoring to maintenance, um, you know, have, uh, have always been challenges. And so we really look for simplicity uh, in, in our data center and the way that we design and deploy solutions. I feel like cloud is, is complex, but the industry is doing a good job of hiding that complexity from the users. Is that fair assessment? I, I think that's a very fair <laughs> assessment, and it, it's taken uh, the industry as, you know, as well as uh, you know, companies like Secure24, we spend a lot of time uh, writing orchestration um, you know, for our environment to, to simplify it and to really help the customers you know, be able to click a button and say, I need a new server, and have that deployed for them as opposed to having to see everything that goes on in the background. So you mentioned some of the companies you're competing with, Mike. Um, th there's a big outsourcing component of, of that. We joked about sort of my mess, mess for less, but yes. um, I, I, I feel as though, two in particular, IBM and CSC, they see the writing on the wall, they see IT is moving to utility. In IBM's case, they've, they've acquired software. In CSC's case, they're trying to transform. <coughs> How do you compete you know, with those guys? Why do you win and what do you see going forward in terms of the competitive landscape and what gives you confidence that you'll continue to win? Sure, so you know, uh, really what I see as, as our competitive advantage to the bigger players in the market is our agility. So the ability to deliver customer solutions very quickly. Um, you know, we, we've had customers come to us that you know, need enterprise environments stood up in a week and we're able to do that uh, very easily with uh, all the tools that we've built and, and the way that we pre-provision uh, environments. Uh, and so agility is a, is a big component of that. Service level is another. So uh, we have a very you know, uh, focused, hands-on uh, team that works with our customers where we really become an extension of their IT department uh, as opposed to you know, a black hole that they're moving their applications or their compute needs into. And so really that, that advanced level of customer service helps differentiate us in the business. So how much do, you, do your customers get involved in the sort of decision to bring in, you know, Oracle products, for example, do they have visibility on that? Are they pushing you to do that? Or is that, do you hide that from them? Or not hide, but do, do, they, sure. do they care? Uh, absolutely they care. And so, um, you know, they're, while they're looking for a service level agreement and, and they're really relying on Secure24 to deliver a solution, they want to know that that solution is tried, tried, true, tested in the marketplace. Uh, they don't want us running them on bleeding edge, they want us lead, you know, on leading edge you know, type solutions. And so they look to us to innovate um, and to be able to take that innovation and drive better solutions for them. So better performance, better uptime, better reliability uh, are things that they're always looking for. And so when we talk to the customers, uh, we do quarterly business reviews with, with all of our customers, and we talk to them about what is our technology roadmap, why are we going in certain directions, um, you know, why, why did we just you know, acquire last year uh, you know, two fully built virtual compute appliances for Oracle, and we talked to them about the, the benefits of that platform, and then how that could apply to their business, and what metrics we could drive for them by moving them to that platform. So what was the key things that you mentioned in that, just to drill down on that, so were they, they, were they indifferent about that, or were they more, are they interested in, in, in the appliance, or were they, oh, whatever, uh, what were some of the comments? <laughs> sure, you know? so their, their biggest uh, concern is, is typically um, uptime, reliability, and then performance. So typically we're targeting customers that are having performance issues on their applications or databases today um, that are looking to move to the virtual compute appliance to leverage the performance gains that we're getting out of that environment. And so the, the big advantage we get over the generalized compute environment that we, that we talked about earlier, you know, that was on Cisco, EMC, uh, Red Hat and, and VMware, by leveraging uh, the virtual compute appliance from Oracle, it's, it's completely tuned for running Oracle workloads. And so we're seeing, uh, in, in general, we see a 30 plus percent performance gain uh, in databases running on VCA. 
And we see that specifically because they're, uh, the way that not only the OS, the Oracle Enterprise uh, kernel uh, for Linux is tuned, you look at the InfiniBand network, and then you look at all of the caching uh, that takes place in, in the storage layer of virtual compute appliance really helps us deliver a better performance yeah. environment. People want more performance. You get all kinds of stuff, batch jobs, all kinds of stuff that's getting bigger and bigger, more data is coming in. Absolutely. Um, but does this, does, does this affect their licensing? I mean, does it make it more complicated? How does it, does it simplify? Absolutely simplifies the licensing. And, and you know, I talked about before having to deploy you know, Oracle databases on physical machines because of the licensing issues. Um, with, with the virtual compute appliance, uh, it comes with Oracle Trusted Partitioning. And Oracle Trusted Partitioning allows us uh, to deliver Oracle databases in a very cost-effective manner for our customers. So Oracle defines that as, uh, you know, each, uh, if you look at a uh, virtual CPU, uh, e two virtual CPUs equal one CPU uh, of physical. And so typically when you start a database, you're having to pin it to the, to the CPUs so that Oracle knows how many CPUs you're running that database on. And with trusted partitioning, it gives us an easy way to do that uh, for our customers in a very cost-effective manner. It's always a contentious issue, the licensing thing. Well, I appreciate you coming on theCUBE. Mike, uh, what's your take on this announcement based upon what you're seeing here? We've got Larry coming on at one o'clock. What's your take, what's going on here? So, my take is, is the virtual compute appliance was, uh, came out last year and uh, came out uh, and they've made some you know, very big improvements to the platform. And today, I'm really excited because as we've invested in that platform, we've deployed two fully built virtual compute appliances, one in our Michigan data center, one in our Las Vegas data center, and we took a leap of faith. Uh, it was a leading edge product uh, when it was first delivered. And so today, what I'm really excited about is Oracle is continuing to put, um, you know, to put their brand behind delivering you know, improvements to the VCA platform and extending that platform into the future. So we know that we've made a good investment and it's something that we can continue to leverage going forward for our clients. As John Fallow said, Larry's the master of the long game. This is just one card or one move in the, in the, in the journey. So uh, well, I'm excited to see what else they got coming out. So we appreciate you spending the time here in theCUBE. This is theCUBE, we are live here at the Oracle headquarters in Silicon Valley for Oracle's big announcement. Larry Ellis is coming on stage as well as all the top executives, really around the future of their computing, mostly the Sun announcement, and a VCE comparison tape. We'll get into that later in our analysis. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante, we'll be right back.